Hello everyone, my name is Chief Thalman and today I will be explaining how to roll the sleeves on your navy working uniform. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is lay your uniform on a flat table neatly with the front of the uniform facing upwards. After that is done, you're going to want to choose which sleeve you want to roll. I will be rolling my left sleeve in this video. So, before you start actually rolling your sleeve, you want to make sure that there are two things in order. First, make sure the sleeve is completely flat. You can do this by doing a visual check, you know, making sure the sleeve looks neat, and also by making sure that the seam of the sleeve is on the rim of the sleeve. It's not on the top or the bottom, but the rim. Also, for number two, make sure that the button at the bottom of the sleeve is undone. The first step in rolling your sleeves is to fold the sleeve inside out, bringing the bottom of the sleeve up to the top of the Naval Sea Cadet Corps patch. Once you're done, you're going to want to make sure that the bottom of the sleeve is at the top of the navel sleeve of the core patch and that the sleeve is flat, which can be done by putting your hand inside the sleeve, extending your fingers, and then drawing your hand out and going over it one more time. Now that is a flat sleeve. In my experience, I have found that folding the sleeve to the top of the navel sleeve of the core patch has fit most arms. However, if you try on the uniform and find that the sleeve is either too short or too long, you can come back to this point in the video and experiment with how far you fold the sleeve up the arm. If you have longer arms, you can fold the sleeve a little bit less, and if you have shorter arms, you can fold the sleeve more. Now we're going to fold this fabric two to three times up to here by folding it inside out. If you have larger arms, I would recommend folding it two times. If you have smaller arms, I would recommend folding it three times. After each fold, make sure to realign the sleeve and make sure it is straight before making the next fold. For the final fold, we're going to take this entire bunch of inside out fabric, fold it all up, and then grab the entire sleeve and refold that back down over the inside out fabric like this. Now this is the finished product, however before trying the sleeves on, make sure that you put the button through the button loop and make sure that any fabric peeking out of this sew line is tucked into the sleeve. Likewise, any inside out fabric that is poking out is tucked into the sleeve too. You are now going to want to repeat this entire process with the other sleeve and then try your uniform on and make sure it fits.
The completed product should look just like this. Notice how the sleeve goes halfway down my arm. There's no fabric peeking out from the bottom of the sleeve and all fabric at the top of the sleeve has been tucked in. And this is true around the entire sleeve. From my elbow to my bicep. The same is true with my right sleeve. Lastly, if this is your first time rolling your sleeves, I would recommend going over each fold with an iron on the correct settings to make sure that the creases stay for a long time.